Hello everyone. Welcome to another uh, Arduino Maker Wi-Fi 1010. Uh, the basics we are, we are learning today. Uh, in our previous lessons, we went over some of the functions uh, in mod and digital write. Today we will be learning analog write. Okay, this function. And analog write is we are on maker boards, this one. And these are the pins available for uh, for for this board. Let me show our board one more time. This is our board. And we have, you know, if you look at, uh, actually this side has the marking, but the other side doesn't have. Two, three, four, five has tilde sign. And here some of them should have, but I guess because of lack of space, I guess they didn't put. But let's look at the, the diagram. Uh, there's one. You will see tilde over here. These are digital pins. And all of them is we can use files with modulation. And here also the 12 and d10 also has this tilde and 6 7 and 8 so these these are digital pins you can turn it on or off with high and low voltage but this the other one with the tilde you can give some other uh, values so let's look at more about this and analog right if you look at here um you can write uh let's look at this analog write function Let's zoom in. You give the pin number, which pin you are going to use. We will be using one of these one. Maybe we'll use D10, which is closer to our side. And, and a value. So the value, the pin is the pin number, as we see. Value is, can be between 0 and 255. So this 0 means always off. And 255 is always on. So this uh, we will be writing some uh, code which will you know uh, which will fade in and fade out our pin uh, our uh, LED so let's go back and write some code for that and here is our editor which has just set up and loop function doesn't have anything if you want before going ahead Let's do the wiring with the help of this diagram. And let's use the D10 pin. Okay, so you will be using that one. Let's go to the dock camera. And here is the D10. You will see the number 10 over here. We will get the power from here. We will use the ground. And so what I'm, what I'm going to do is, firstly, I will have my breadboard and connect this uh, our resistor to 10 this one so and the other one is to the is this 15 yes this is 15 remember this this is 10 so let's use our red wire to connect to get our power from 10 so here it is this one and let's use one of pin because all these are you know all these are vertically connected so the when i insert this pin over here and this one these are connected underneath so as you know our leds are as different leg size so the longer should be the the power or positive so here it is positive because we get the energy from there i'll use any of these pin uh, in the 15 this roll and i connect one and this will go into the any number so i will choose uh, now 18 if you'll see i connected one of the leg to the 15 at the end of the resistor you will get the voltage over here and we will come back here and now we need to connect this leg i'm making this u shape 
because of the face and i will be using this in the side to the ground one on the side okay and i will connect this to the ground and connect this to the at that's it our wiring is complete now we need to write our code let's go back to the r code here it is so firstly we need to give which pin we are going to use integer i will say led pin a number if you want you can use longer and i will be using 10. it is a digital you don't need to put anything like d but for the analog you put a so that's it and second thing is we will be sending you remember zero to um uh, zero to 55 if you look at we can set these values on and off so if you go back here <coughs> excuse me so we can call this brightness brightness so we can put at the very beginning zero means it is off and we can increment the brightness uh, and we can say fade amount this could be positive or negative uh, so let's increment just by five so let's set up this led pin we are going to use for output right so we will set the pin mode this is the pin mode if it is orange we are good and we will be using led this pin number which is actually 10 this means and we will be outputting this one okay same column we shouldn't forget so our setup is okay and for the loop we will be using analog write because we are going to put some data to it right this is the function we are going to use analog write and analog write takes two parameter in and value i'll copy this one over here and paste over here the pin is led pin number right and value is the brightness we will be using this one brightness right we will be using that one here Did i spell correct right now h is brightness so when we do this uh, it will at the very beginning it is zero so we are not going to see any sign right so we would like to increment the brightness every time uh, this loop is called okay so we will increment the brightness we can use plus equal to or brightness equal to brightness plus and fade amount so we now it will become all it is incremented all the time but this will go more than 255 so when it is uh, more than uh, 255 we should uh, we should be aware of it okay so I we can say if the brightness brightness is greater than or equal to could be brightness is greater than equal to 255 you will say where do you get these numbers this is always on so if it is greater than 255 this means we need to go backwards right so what we need to do if the fade is you know at the very beginning is positive what we need to do is we need to make it negative so in order to make that negative we can multiply if you want uh, with minus one or directly we can say fade equal to fade amount negative one so if it is five this becomes now minus five this will enter once when the brightness hits greater than 255 it will go down but only another thing we need to forget we shouldn't forget if this you know when this become negative it will go backward and it go back there it will become less than zero but we don't want to go to less than zero so we can check another thing is if the brightness is less than and equal to zero okay less than and equal to zero uh this view connect with this or or the brightness is greater than 255 we should reverse it so in the brightness if it goes to negative 
it will come back here and because this become this was in minus five minus five if you put minus in front of it it becomes uh, plus five so uh, things will work out for us in order to see the change let's wait a little bit so delay we will be using play amount could be uh, you know if i put like 50 let's try this one whether it can be uh, seen so let's have a little bit like this so we can see everything um let's try to run this you know first is verify everything is all right looks like we are good let's upload it to the arduino and do some debugging and everything so the transferred looks like it's going up yeah incrementing incrementing and suddenly it drops right so let's check our code we have analog bright brightness brightness is equal to bright plus Fade amount if brightness is less than zero or brightness is greater than 105. Fade amount, fade amount. So this is working fine, looks like. If we bend this a little bit like that, maybe we can see better. Yeah, cool. This is nice. We can reduce the amount if you want to 30. Let's try this one, maybe it will be a little bit faster. Loading. Cool. So this is the final version. So what we have done is we connected to the digital pin on this on maker Wi Fi ten ten. And this is working with pulse with modulation. And we have one transistor over here. And one leg is connected to the long leg of the LED. And we have neutral over here. We are giving some energy to that one. So that's all for today. What we have done, just as a summary, we went over analog right. And we opened our board. And we can, with the tilde, we can give different values between 0 and uh, 255 all these ones we can use all these digital pin so this is uh, another topic pulse with modulation it explains uh, you know what is this and you can go ahead and read this arduino tutorial for more details oh uh, i'm sorry i wasn't showing you the code so uh, i was showing about this pulse uh, you know we learned analog right and here is the uh, function and the value it takes this is for arduino uh, uh, this is for arduino uno this code is written so we have our different code and if you wonder what is this uh, 255 you can go over and this pulse with modulation and get more details about this one so this website is arduino tutorial you can find this one so what we have done we went over today analog right we have done digital right and pin mode from the previous one so see you in the next uh, lesson thank you have a good one